Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we approach the end of today's symposium to co commemorate the 15th anniversary of the restoration of China's law siege in the United Nations, on behalf of Center for China and Globalization, I want to express my great gratitude to our honored guests and the speakers today. It has been a meaningful afternoon to listen to so many extremely inspiring insights from representatives from the United Nation China family, including UNICEFO, uh, UNICEFO, UNICEF, UN Women, UNFPA, UNHCR, and the UNDP, as well as experts from China Agriculture University, China Foundation for Peace and Development, and the Embassy of Cape Verde to China and the CCG Fellows, realizing the rights of the children and the women and bolstering rural development as important parts of sustainable development are to be guided by the United Nations Charter and the 2013 UN Agenda. China's recent establishment of long-term goal of common prosperity echoes with the SDGs. And as China is supposed to embrace multilateralism on the road towards a green, a green future, carbon neutrality will create numerous opportunities for partnership with the United Nations and its agencies in China in the future. As Mr. Seed Chatterjee, Ambassador Wu Hongbo, DG Tianlin, and Dr. Hui Yao Wang all pointed out at the start of this event, the last 15 years of China in the United Nations has been a story of change making. However, given the global challenges in today's circumstances and the success of the next 15 years of China in the United Nations demands fast actions from all parties involved to defend multilateral cooperation and contribute to global governance and promote sustainable development. Today, we heard so many touching stories of the United Nations and the China cooperation in the past 15 years related to the education, women, children, cultural exchanges, agriculture, and um, climate change, of course, including people mobility. Um, another important part of today's event is quite impressive for me. Uh, as the ambassador from uh, African Union and from Senegal, the friendship between China and Africa go back a long way. And uh, this long-term friendship has laid a fundamental foundation for cooperation between China and African countries. CCG is a strong supporter for this. In December last year, CCG held, held the Ambassador Roundtable on China and the World in the period of China's 14th Five Years Plan, inviting over 16 African ambassadors and representatives to discuss new opportunities for international cooperation in the 40, 50, a 14th five-year plan and ways to strengthen cooperation between China and African countries, especially we, uh, between China and the African continental free trade area. Today, CCG is also actively engaged, uh, uh, active engaging in conducting research, drafting policy brief, and engaging in discussing in order to advance this unique friendship between China and Africa. Growing up in the context of the ever-changing China and the world that has become more and more globalized, CCG have passions for promoting globalization and multilateralism and the power of young people in the future of the world. That's why I launched the Global Young Leaders Dialogue, GYLD, last year, supported by Mr. Uh, Mr. Sir Judd, uh, Chatterjee and uh, so many ambassadors here and the representatives from uh, UN China family. Thank you so much. Now it's time for young people, young power in China, the world. I hope GLD can make the Chinese experience more interesting and uh, hope young people around the world can understand China more. Finally, I want to congratulate Congratulate Mr. Sid Chatterjee and Dr. Hui Yao Wang. Under your leadership, 
We have working for a few months to organize this event, and the thanks colleagues from United Nations China offices and the CCG staffs. Without your assistance and without your contribution, we couldn't have the so, so successful event so far. I believe it's successful. CCG is excited to work shoot by shoulder by United Nations in China and to embrace multilateralism and do pragmatic work. Thank you, all of you, and we look forward to more cooperation, more 15 years cooperation between China and the United Nations to come. Thank you so much.